What's up everyone and welcome to another Bitcoin market update. In these videos you will learn how to use technical analysis to forecast price movements in your favorite cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and others and also see where we are looking to buy and sell these crypto assets ourselves. So let's get into it here with Bitcoin on the monthly time frame. You can see that this monthly candle has pretty much just traded down since the open of the candlestick. We haven't seen um, really much bullish price action over the course of this first week of the month. Um, yeah, I believe it's the first week. Well, I guess it's, I guess, yeah, it's pretty much just been a week. Um, if we look at the the weekly time frame here, we can see that this potential bear flag that I talked about over the past uh, several days has in fact played out. So this is where you have this horizontal uh, to slightly sloping up price action right here, where you can see we had uh, these two weekly candles after this sharp drawdown kind of trade sideways before inevitably we drew down since the weekly open of this week. So this is the... Um, the bear flag pattern, which is what that is, this is called, is what we consider a bearish continuation pattern. So this is where we have the price action going sideways to slightly sloping up, like I said, before another leg down. And that's what we're seeing right here with the subsequent uh, drawdown that we saw over the last day. <clears throat> this just broke out over the last uh, 24 hours since my previous video. So... If we do end up going below this light blue zone and closing two weekly candles below it without bouncing off of it once, this will end up being a very strong resistance zone for price that I will look to go short on. Uh, hopefully the bulls can have a bounce here before a subsequent drawdown through this level if that is what is going to occur. Uh, this does not bode well for a bounce considering we had the makings of a bounce beginning here, but then we had long upper wicks of people selling into the rise in price, and then subsequently another rejection or dump down. Um, if we look at the daily time frame, we can see we can get a little bit more clarity on the price action that we just had over the last day. So we've been talking about this equilibrium pattern here where the price is tightening up until right here we got our breakdown. So we had all we were making was lower highs and higher lows before eventually we made a lower high and then a lower low right here below this low from June 5th. So now we had that yesterday's candle close below this low. If today's daily candle in two and a half hours closes below this low from June 5th, this white candle will turn into a strong resistance zone for price. Um, and so what we can do is we can take our rectangle and our magnet and we can go right on that candlestick and draw a nice rectangle right there. And so this will end up being the resistance zone for price if we do end up uh, closing below this, which at this point, it you know, it does seem like it would be likely for us to do that. But we still do have two and a half hours to work our way up to 34,772. So not too much more. It's about 1,200 hours from where we're at now. You can see that we're you know, trying to climb up there now as we speak, as the percentage for the day starts to creep up into the positive uh, digits here. If we do end up getting this as a resistance zone, one of the scenarios is obviously we go into this, we reject off of it, and we go down to new lows below the 29,100 low. Um, with the bear trend that we have intact, and with indicators like the super guppy pointing us downwards here, um, this is the more likely scenario, like we've been talking about with this equilibrium pattern, the more likely scenario here is we break down, which is what we just had happen. Um, and we'll talk about on the lower term timeframes why that occurred. Um, because that's also a trade that we talked about on this channel. So if you're following this channel, you know, <laughs> you might be doing pretty well in the markets. Um, if you're not following this channel, what are you doing? Um, so when we're looking at 
this pattern, the other scenario that could play out, if that first scenario doesn't, where we reject off of this on the first test, the other scenario is we go right through this zone and close two candles below it, and then we retest this zone as support and go for a new higher high. That would be the bull scenario. So the bulls will need to really recover here significantly and bounce and go right through this zone. Um, it could happen. We could end up seeing that happen. That would be a very good spot to long if that was the case. If we close below this, this zone and we reject off of it, you know, that's still the trade though. That's still the trade that, you know, I'm looking to go short on is if we close below this low, you know, we go short on this uh, body of the candle here with our stop loss above. So it'll look something like this right about there. And then obviously you would mark the, you would put these at actually what their, their actual numbers are. But then this would go down to a minimum of 29.1 because that's where I think we would go. Because this, this blue zone that we're bouncing off of now is this candle back here from January 31st on the daily time frame that we've already bounced off of once, twice, and now this will be the third time if we bounce off of it. So every time we bounce off of that zone, it's getting weaker. So I think we'll break through that if we reject off of this zone. So, I don't know what's happening. Um, so, let's go to the lower term time frames and see why we dumped, folks. We dumped because I told people on this channel that we would. No, I'm just kidding. We dumped because of this zone right here. If we look at this very closely on the four hour time frame, this right here was the beginning of this downtrend. I talked yesterday about how this trade had already played out. We were around this zone somewhere in this candle um, when I made the video, I believe. And so we were already up in terms of a profitable short. But this trade is a very simple trade that I also made back here that I talked about on this channel, uh, which was this drawdown right here. So let's talk about that one first, and then we'll talk about this one that we just saw. So just to reiterate, this is just a bull trend here with a low, high, higher low, and then a higher high. With two candle closes above the key high, that makes this candle a support zone. But we come down, we form a higher low, then a lower high, and then a lower low, and we blow right through this zone, closing two candles below the low. So now we're in a confirmed bear trend. So we flipped the trend and this level turned into a resistance zone. So now when we come up, we come we come up, we form a high. So we have a low, high, higher low, higher high, and then we reject, we go right into this zone and we reject off this. So you you know, I went short right here with my stop loss above. You can see it was really, really close to getting stopped out. We almost got to the edge of it, but we didn't and then subsequently drew down uh, significantly about 8% on spot if you're using leverage, uh, significantly more in terms of profit there. And then subsequently, um, you know, that turns this into the same exact resistance level that we have here, which is where we had the bull trend, two candle closes above the key high, and then a draw it out right through that level. This black candle pushed right through it, and then this candle closed below the key low again. So now we can take this, we apply it to this candlestick, snap that to the edges of it. And now this becomes our entry zone. So now you can see that um, right here, when we came into this zone right here, boom, we come into it. We reject off of it once. We came into it a second time, but we formed a lower high in comparison to this one. It's very close, but it, it is a lower high, in fact. And then we reject down uh, very, very significantly. So this trade was a very nice trade because of the fact that this level is very small. So when you do your position size calculation, if you enter on the body of the candle and you put your stop loss at the top, you're roughly your stop loss is roughly 1.24% away from the actual um, from the actual. Um, uh, top of the the resistance level, so this is um, a very good opportunity if you're a trader because when you do your position size calculation, you're taking your portfolio value, 
So if you let's say you have a $10,000 portfolio, you're multiplying that by the percentage of your portfolio you want to risk on that trade. Let's say it's 1%. So you're going to risk 1% of 10,000. Then uh, that means if the tr- if you get stopped at the trade, that's how much you'll lose the that equation, your portfolio times your percentage risk. Then you take that number, which is your max loss that you can lose. You divide that by the percentage that your stop loss is away from entry, which is this price right here, or this percentage right here. So if this is larger, if our stop loss was up here, let's say we put it above this high, uh, our stop loss is larger, so we'll, we'll our position size, meaning the amount that we're going to go short with, is going to be lower than if the stop loss was tighter. So the tighter your stop loss is, the more... Uh, the larger your position size will be based on that calculation. But obviously, the the riskier the trade is because the closer your stop loss is to entry, the more right you have to be. Obviously, in this scenario, it worked out, but it doesn't always work that way with tight stop losses. But in this case, you can see that if we entered on the body of the candle, put our stop loss above, um, and you can see you know down to the bottom of the wick, this is a very significantly profitable trade. Um, with a dump down to uh, about a 15% gain from entry, risk to reward of about 12. Uh, so very good risk reward ratio there. Um, you know, obviously on leverage, this is you know 30% if you're using 2x and more if you're using more. Um, so so far, you know, that trade has panned out very nicely. Um, so that's why we dumped because this resistance level right here, you can see we rejected it twice. Once we formed the lower high here and we rejected down, it was instant. As soon as this candle closed and people saw that, instant sell off, instant drawdown down to uh, about 30900 So now where is the price going to go? Well, in my opinion, where we are now, uh, we pretty much have one resistance level that is the main resistance level to watch on the lower time frames at least on the daily time frame you're watching this this low right here from June 5th that we talked about already but on the lower time frame like the six hour this is the resistance zone right here so this is from when we had this bow trend here now you can see that this zone has been tested once twice three times four times and then five times, and then we pushed through it finally. So now when we retest this zone, what do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be resistance? Because I do. Uh, considering that this was support several times, and then we broke through it, it's very clear that this zone is resistance. Support, 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 blow through it. Resistance. Very clear. So the way that you play this is the way that I play this because everything on this channel is for educational purposes only and is not intended as financial advice. The way that I play this is I put my stop loss above this zone. I put my entry on the body of the candle and I put my target wherever I think that we're going to go for the target, which could potentially easily be if we look at like trend following indicators like the Ichimoku cloud, uh, this is clearly in the most bearish scenario that it can be in. It does have a massive cloud up here. So if we do end up working our way up, that's pretty good for continuation. But uh, it is in the bearish scenario here. So the target for this, you know, is in my opinion, at least below the, the dark blue zone, because this is depending on where this candle closes in the next two and a half hours, this six hour candle is the same time frame for this daily candle to close. So you can see where the daily resistance level is going to be is about $35,200. So let's go to the six hour and see where that would be. $35,200 is right about the middle of this zone. So, um, you know, we can either play this zone, which, you know, would be the safer bet to get an entry on a short. Or you can push it up to where that daily resistance zone is going to be, which is up at about 35.2. Um, tighter stop loss, better risk reward, depending on where you put your your target. But I'm going to put it at, at least the bottom of the dark blue daily zone that we have, which is right down here. 
um, down at about 32.2. So that's what I'm currently looking for on Bitcoin. Um, I hope that's helpful for you. If you like analysis like this, I guarantee you will like our beginner technical analysis course that we released on Lutheria.com. This is where I break down all of these different concepts like supported resistance, trading trends, volume analysis, candlestick analysis, and much more. Um, you can get that. If you're just getting started trading and investing in cryptocurrencies, I highly recommend it. Um, we've had many students come back with very positive reviews on how it's helped them as beginners in this space, learn how to analyze price action so they can make more accurate entries. Um, in addition to that, if you'd like to join a free online community where you can learn a lot more about different interesting projects in the space, collaborate with different people from around the world, um, and talk to them about the crypto economy and blockchain technology and its disruption of all of the different industries that we know it's going to disrupt, and talk to people like me and other people in the Lutheria uh, team, you can do that using the link in the description below where you can join our global Telegram community. Um, I highly encourage you to join that as well. Um, if you're involved in the crypto economy and the blockchain space, it's very beneficial to really learn and grow as a community because every new member that gets added to that community provides more value as you build up this knowledge base of information where one, one person can help another person in the community. Um, learn something new and really help achieve their goals. So if you'd like to achieve your goals, um, join the community and we can uh, absolutely help you do that. It's absolutely free. So there's uh, no risk there. If you don't like it, you can just leave. Um, we haven't had anyone leave just yet that wasn't uh, um, a scammer. <laughs> so um, I encourage you to join it and uh, and that's all. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future educational content around cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. And until tomorrow, onward and upward.